So I had a request on the color correction practice with this particular image, and this is the photograph of the glass of milk. And this is actually one of the trickier images to work with for this practice. So if you do choose this one, um, I applaud you for taking on the challenge. The reason it's more challenging is because the, the lines are not really as defined as some of the other um, images, and so getting a really good selection can be tricky. And that's your first step, and this is really what you want to spend the majority of the time on is getting a really good, accurate selection first, because that's going to define the area that you're able to manipulate as far as the color goes. So what I'm going to start with is actually using the magnifying glass tool. I'm going to zoom in close on the glass itself just so I can get a clear look at what I'm doing. And that's a little bit too tight. That looks good. And then I'm going to switch over to my quick selection tool. And I've got this set on about a, a 10 point brush, which is fine. It really, um, you want to keep it pretty small in this case because we're working with um, some detail and just start selecting and you see it'll snap and grab um, most of the glass. Oh, another thing to, that you want to try is selecting the auto enhance feature as well and that's right up here on the toolbar and I'll show you what that does in a moment as I'm working you might notice it. What it, it is basically the refine edge feature without having to open the refine edge window so it just will automatically try to make the selection more accurate on its own. It's pretty intelligent in that way. So just go through and I'm going to clean this up so if you see extra stuff being grabbed that's okay for right now because I'm going to um, go in and really make this a little more accurate after I get the initial selection. So I'm just trying to get the milk, only the milk, and you see that that just snapped up there and grabbed a lot more than I wanted. So the, what, what happens when you do that, when that happens, I can just hold the option key. And I don't know if you can see it because it's tiny, but my cursor turns from a plus sign to a negative sign, and that means it's taking away. So now when I do the selection, it starts erasing. Make sure you don't leave any little pixels selected. You can see how that's right up here is just tiny little pieces that are left selected, and just make sure you clean that up. And when I release, it uh, does the enhance, auto enhance uh, feature activates. And you can see the little, um, the little spiral when it's working. So I'm just gonna keep erasing, keep taking away from my selection. Take out some of the shadow down here. And I do want to include the milk that kind of goes back into the back of the glass, as well as this piece of the glass down here. And the reason why I'm including this piece of glass at the bottom is because um, when we change the color, it'll look like the, the color is refracting down into that, uh, that area of the glass, and it'll look a little more natural. So, as I said, I'm going to spend a little more time on this, because this is really the hardest part of this exercise, is getting this clean, accurate um, selection. And you can see there's like little bubbles down here that go off of the glass itself. If I was to change the color with that selected, it would look like it would be inaccurate. It would take away from the believability of my, um, my edit. And in this case, this is my goal, is to really make a convincing um, color correction. And I'm almost there. Just a little bit more. And this is where it gets tricky because this line of milk is very undefined. It's, it blends pretty closely with the back of the glass. Okay. And this is getting pretty good. I think I might just go with what I've got here. Let me get a little bit more down here at the bottom. And I'm holding the option key again to erase or take away from the selection. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to go with this and I can keep on refining this down. I could even get into the magnifying glass and zoom way in tight 
and keep on refining my selection. And you know, the more time you put into it, the better results you'll have in the end. But uh, for sake of time, I'm going to go with this because it's a pretty good selection. So from here, with that selected, I'm going to go down to my layers panel, which is on uh, in my software is down here in the lower right, and it should be where you find yours as well. And I'm going to select a an adjustment layer. I'm going to add a new adjustment layer, and I'm going to use the saturation or the hue and saturation adjustment layer. And you see that layer appear on my list. Notice that this diagram is all black except for the area that was selected because it's like a miniature version of my image is in white and that means that only that area that's in white is being affected by this layer. Also you'll notice that the saturation and hue um, panel now opens. What I'm going to encourage you to do is leave the saturation and lightness bar alone and I'll show you why if uh, in just a second um, but really focus on the hue uh, scroll bar and that will just let you change the color and it will only affect the part that's underneath the selection that you had so you can go with kind of strawberry milk or grape or lime or do a tribute to Star Wars for the Star Wars geeks out there and go with blue milk and really that's all that's required for this exercise is just to, to look at how to subtly alter the color of an object in a fairly convincing way. What would happen if I played with the saturation would be some really psychedelic effects. If I drop it down, it's going to go black and white. It's going to go to grayscale, and that's taking away the color. So if I wanted to, to mute the color, I could drop it down a bit. If I wanted to take the color out, I could drop it all the way down. If I start bumping up the saturation, it gets really weird looking. Because um, that's really just increasing the amount of color, the intensity of the color. And once it gets past a certain point, it just starts looking um, very pixelated and very unnatural. So really stay away from that. You can increase it slightly. I wouldn't go over, say, 20 or so. Um, I'm just going to leave it at zero for now though and really focus on the hue and for the time being you can explore some of these other settings later but I wouldn't um, play with those right now oh and lightness is darkness and lightness and again that's going to get really unnatural if you play with that because um, because it's within a defined area and so that that edge starts to becoming really apparent if you um, if you influence that at all. Colorize. Colorize is, um, allows you to very um, drastically change the color. You can see it's not as subtle as it was before I selected to colorize. Um, so, uh, so that's basically what you're going for here um, is just that little subtle color change to the milk itself, leaving the glass and the surrounding area unaffected. Hopefully that helps.